Then we'd be no different from the Deimos, would we? The last thing I want is to become like them. Korg, you have to see. You have to open your eyes and see things from both sides. But I understand why it's saying this. Because, cause like, that line right there. I think this chapter might be whenever he finds out he's Deimos. So, that could be foreshadowing. Dot, 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 dot. Karg! Looks like Samson's about to leave. Okay. Okay. I'd better go and see him off. I owe him my life, after all. Aww. The old Joker's still in the pub. I'll take over here. Thanks. Don't kill her. You better be grateful to Karg. Think she's probably pretty fucking grateful. You're only still here because he wouldn't allow you to be put to death. I remember all the good lives that were sacrificed. And just sending you to prison doesn't cut it for me. I think you deserve the death penalty. Now this is an age old dilemma of, you know, it's like two age old dilemmas. Because it's like death penalty, she's not like a serial killer. She's not a murderer in that sense, but she is. But she's, she's like in war complicated issues but I won't go against the wishes of the man who liberated a piece here I hope you're haunted in prison by what you done she might be killed in prison she'll probably be raped I just got to get that out okay go and see Samson often all right leave me alone I need time to think did you see Samson Yes or not yet? If I say yes, what happens? Right. Leave everything here to me. You're the hero who freed a pastry after all. Everyone's waiting for you upstairs. It didn't matter. He didn't fucking believe me. I knew I couldn't leave. Hold on. I need to go see Samson off right now. Samson! You don't look like you're going anywhere. You look like you're still talking to Paulette about me behind my back. Gossiping. You came, Karg! The wine here is really good. If there were some beautiful women here too, it would be like heaven. <laughs> burn, Paulette! Just got burned hardcore. Like, what the fuck? You're gonna say that right in front of her? Well, I'm terribly sorry that I'm not beautiful enough. <laughs> yeah. Shit. She's pretty. Why is everybody so mean to Paulette? No, I didn't mean you. I mean, obviously. Uh. <laughs> ha 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 ha. Paulette, don't pick on someone you owe your life. He's the one picking on her. Like, that was really fucking rude for him to say that, whether it's true or not. That was rude as fuck. Did you drink too much? I only wish... Nobody takes any notice of me. Oh my god, my poor child. Like, I feel so fucking bad for her. It's it's true. Like, even Samson, who was talking to her, just said she wasn't pretty. And fucking Karg, she said she's wanted his dick forever and she, he doesn't even realize. Lilia this. And Tashana that. <laughs> Tashana, really though? I get being jealous of Lilia, but Tashana... You're leaving now. He ignored it. Why? You're so rude. Yeah. I already drank more than I should. Oh, yeah? But my man, Boomer and Buster, have gone off somewhere. Of course they have. We're gonna have to get them, huh? I was just about to go and call them back. Your voice keeps changing. It must be because he's drunk. Okay. I'll go and get them for you. You wait for us here. Oh, thanks. Sorry about this. They're wearing blue bandanas, so you won't miss them. Leave me alone for a while. I'm feeling a bit down. Karg, you're the worst. Like, even if he doesn't notice that she has a crush on him, you are the worst best friend ever. Like, Jesus Christ. I don't know what it is about protagonists in JRPGs. Even, like, good guys, they always are just such dicks. Woo! I drank too much. I need to get some fresh air and sober up. 
That's not how sobering works. It's really just time. But I want to keep enjoying the party for the rest of the week. Well, let's get drunk all week. Fuck sobriety. Fuck sobriety in the ass with a 15-inch dildo. I don't want to dampen the mood when everyone's enjoying themselves. But I wish they'd hurry up and execute that Tajana. Jesus Christ, we are not executing her. She's going to prison at worst. It's not even entirely Tatjana's fault. She was clearly manipulated by by Darkham. Like she she clearly loves him. My son was in the resistance and he was killed by the Dillsweld army. Again, blaming Tatjana for everything the Dillsweld army does, that's pretty bad to do, but I, I get it. I sympathize with you. I understand why you're upset. Okay, so I'm not saying it was her that killed him exactly. But she's the only one of them left in this city, and I say she should pay. That's a pretty bad mentality. Putting her in jail, I mean, she's still gonna pay for her crimes. My brother was in the resistance, and he was killed by a Dillsweld soldier. Naturally, I feel a lot of gratitude to you, Karg, for saving this nation. But I can't accept you taking that commander woman along with you. Well, fuck yourself with a fork. You should have left her in that erupting volcano. Well, you know what? I'm a good man. That's my problem, okay? It's it's a good thing, and it's also the downfall. As you'll notice with most naturally good people, it's usually what fucks them over, too. I'm gonna become a mechanic when I grow up. It's not just men who can do it, you know? <laughs> That's funny. I like playing around with machines. While the scary men were around, I wasn't allowed out. I'm really happy now. I can run around as much as I like. Fuck yeah. The dialogue in this game changing so often, that's very rare, to be honest. In any games. Losing our freedom once makes it seem all the more wonderful a thing now that we have it again. You're the hero that saved this country for us. That I am. If only you could stay and live here forever. Well, shit. No, I got shit to do. Places to be. People to do. Thank you so much for saving a piece, dear. You worked so hard to help us, and you're not even from our country. I don't know how to thank you. I mean, a good blowjob would, would be obliged. Like, I'm not gonna say no to a nice blowjob. Some sloppy toppy. Now my kids can play outside. I know they'll be safe. Thank you so much. Still, now they're playing all the time. They should be doing their homework soon, damn it! Well, war just ended. Give them a break. Oh shit, I guess we need to talk to this guy. Hey. Hey, we did need to talk to him. I remember him telling us to go talk to Buster. Hey. What do you want? I'm busy now. Talk to me later. Um, Samson's asking for you. He's ready to leave now. Oh, damn. Just as I was getting somewhere. Oh, he's trying to get it in. He's trying to rape that chick behind the building. Did she even... Did she even want it, Buster? You know, bust a nut in her? Is that why they call you Buster? Because it's bust her? Looks like I've got to go. Sorry. I'm just a humble bird in migration. <laughs> Coming and going time and time again. Do they intend for that to be a sexual innuendo? Don't be sad, my dear. <laughs> I will imagine your smiling face as I go to sleep tonight. If I return to this town, you and I... Uh, I don't think you should keep your captain waiting too long. Damn that sass! Yeah, I mean, she probably you probably won't remember her at all. You don't give a shit. You probably just bounce around from... Pussy to pussy. Yeah, okay. I know, I know. Time to go. He's a slave driver, that guy. One day I'll quit. That'll show him, damn it. Then he'll just replace you with someone else. I had a feeling she wasn't really feeling him. Oh, thank you. He was so pushy. I don't like that kind of silly, gushy talk. I feel you. I prefer a man to be more straightforward. I feel you a lot. I'll remember that. Why will you remember that, Karg? You trying to get her pussy? Why? Why will you remember that? 
When I choose a man, I'll base it on whether he can provide a stable life for a family. That's all it comes down to. That's a boring ass fucking future you have planned. But in that case, he's definitely not good for you. He's a fucking pirate. I'm so happy! Now I can go on dates again without having to worry! Not that I've got anyone lined up yet. And I can't stand guys like that bend bandana guy who came and talked to me earlier. He's playing the fucking field. He's playing everybody. I don't like pushy men. By the way, is he still around? No, I sent him to go back to his, uh, his owner. His owner. <laughs> Literally a slave. Yeah, that's word for a wise of any guy out there trying to get a chick. Don't be pushy. Just, just act like you don't give a shit about them. They'll fall in love. And peace here is full of industrial cities now, but long ago they say it was called the land of the spirits. But I suppose it's only natural that the more a country develops, the more it loses its spirituality. That's kind of true. I mean, I still don't really trust anything you say because you, you tricked me that you're crazy. I heard you guys defeated the Dullswald army. That's amazing. What is it that you do? I'm commander of the defense corps. I'm a messenger for your mother. What does that mean? I'm a messenger for your mother? Yeah. Huh. For my mother? Surely it's not time to come in yet. Come on, let us play a little bit longer. I didn't know what it fucking meant, but I was just like... Since those scary men have left, my big brother's finally stopping his concealment training and come out from hiding. But I know he'll want to play it at s some other game soon. Once I broke the ten rules of the pub and I started a fight. Oh, started a fight. We got a brawler on our hands. So I got barred by the owner. I don't know, not being able to go to the pub to celebrate on a day like this. Damn, that sucks fucking hairy nutsack. What the hell? I mean, I got kicked out of a bar once for fighting, but I didn't get banned. Buster came back. Thanks. But for some reason, he was crying. What? Why? Because of that one chick? He thought he was going to get the pussy and he didn't? Now it's just Boomer. Actually, Boomer said something about there being a mechanic here. I think he went to try and get some materials. Boomer, are you fucking kidding me right now? I went to try and get some materials. Okay, so does that mean he went to the airship area? Or does that mean he went somewhere to get materials? Because I'm going to be really annoyed with him if he went somewhere to get materials. But this is where the mechanics hang out. I understand why people want to have a celebration drink, but we feel happier just getting this plant up and running again. I know, you guys were so sad about not having to work. So sad that you couldn't get paid minimal wage at a factory. Apart from Russ Kinnick, there's another mechanic who we idolize. He's called Ringo. Him and Russ are the same generation. I want to be a dick, but I guess I could just ask about him. Because, like, if I don't, he's probably not going to tell me anything. And I want to know the lore. Ringo excelled especially in developing means of transport. Apparently, he used to make high-tech mini airships from the parts of scrap machines. That's cool. Ah, uh, people of the past were really skilled. We mechanics are divided into the Rust School and the Ringo School. Sometimes there are fights about which was better. That's really interesting, though. Maybe he should make me a mini rocket thingy. I wouldn't mind having one of those. Just a minute. I'm a bit tied up right now. What? You trying to get the pussy? Oh, shit. Is this... Boomer! We found him! And his magnificent mustache and probably delectable boy pussy that that guy's trying to get. Oh, it's you, Kug. I'm busy right now. Can't it wait? He's trying to get it. Samson's asking for you. He's ready to leave now. Oh, damn. Just as I was getting somewhere. It's such a funny parallel because he's with a guy and the other guy was with a girl. And it's clear the other guy was trying to get the pussy. I'm trying to figure out what Boomer's trying to get here. Come on. Won't you reconsider? It's just not a fair exchange. 
10 crystal ores for one pitch propeller? Uh, he's just buying something. They're worth... I thought he was trying to get a prostitute. What things are worth has changed since the Daleswald army destroyed stuff. Well, even so, your pitch propellers are supposed to be really well made. What do you say? A special deal just between you and me? I'll suck your dick so good and I will guzzle your cum if you just give me this. We've never met before. If you don't like it, then leave it. Oh! If that's the way you want it, I'd hope. What with us both being engineers, we might help each other out more. Circle jerk. I don't think you should keep your captain waiting too long. Damn it. Okay. Yeah, I thought he was gonna fucking fight the guy for it. That's it then. For now. Maybe next time. <laughs> I don't know. If he wants to beat down the price, he'll have to be a bit more persistent. Well, he couldn't be because he has to go. He likes to try his luck. The trick to good bargaining is to be aggressive at the start and then gradually start to make concessions. Yeah, I know. I'm not very good at bargaining. I don't usually try and bargain. I usually just pay the normal price, but I know how it's done. Hey, Garg. Thanks a lot. Well, it's the least I could do after you saved my fucking life. So, you can get going at last. We don't want you here. Get the fuck out of here. Well, the Diswald army was our supplier. We can't do any trade now that they've gone. Thought we'd give them mid just a surprise attack. That'll give them a scare. There's just one thing I'd like to ask you. What? Why did you lie to us back at Wilbur Shore? You told us Lilia was in Cathena. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. Like, why did he backstab us then if he was going to help us? Oh, that. Does it really matter? What's done is done, eh? It kind of matters. I'm very curious. Are you after the Lightstone as well? There's money to be made from something that everyone wants. Fair enough. Maybe that's all he wants. Maybe that's why he comes off as evil. Because he's really just a stingy bastard that wants money. As a thief, it would make for quite a catch. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, Cargo makes logical sense. Make no mistake, but I'm not that interested in the light stone. So why did you lie then? That's, yeah. Karg's asking the good questions. You're smart, Karg. We could have bought it from you too. I didn't know you very well then. I thought I should wait a while and make sure I could trust you. So does that mean you trust me now? I guess. Uh, why would you need to trust me if all you care about is the money? In that case, why don't we fight together? We both want to defeat Dillswell, don't we? I don't think he cares about that. Sorry, but I got other stuff to do. Yeah, he doesn't care about defeating those wealth. He doesn't care about what's right. All he wants is money. It's all about the money, money, money. Sides, if you pair up with a thief, you'll lose all the respect people have for you now. And we're already pairing up with fucking Tajana. We don't need a thief. You lot make a good team on your own. You can take on the deals well, no problem. I think you're just a lazy motherfucker that don't want to do any of the fucking work. Yeah, that's the spirit, Samson! Hey, don't get carried away. Paulette, Debbie Downer, as always. So, that's the situation. Yeah, okay. I understand. Okay. Steel, if you carry on with what you're doing, we're sure to meet again somewhere down the line. And hopefully you will not fucking, like, fuck us over. I hope so. Aw, car, you got crushed? Okay, I'm really off now. Can't blame you. He is sexy as fuck. So long. That hairy chest. Now then. Shall we get going too? Get going? Where to? Yeah, that's what I'm wondering. Silly boy. We may have lost the Firestone and Lilia, 
I feel like she just shot a glare at Carr when she said that. Hallelujah. But that doesn't change our mission to stop Darkham. We're going after him. Hell yeah. I know that! Don't call me silly. <laughs> <laughs> Aww. You shouldn't laugh at a prince. Aww, cutie pie, Maru. You haven't even been part of the gang for as long as we have. Yeah, gods, you don't even count. You're not even really here. Ha ha ha. Don't get into such a temper, Maru. It's not very princely. Oh, calling him out. Come on then, let's go. Nobody answered where we're going. Where are we going? <laughs>